Welcome back everybody, I'm Kirsty Meekin and today we have the fabulous Andrea in and we are going to be doing a ombre with our brand new, oh my god, they are beautiful, they are crushed diamond flash gel polishes. Oh, I'm excited! Me too. So Andrea's got a set on already. Um, we are going to use the base coat. The base coat will keep everything adhered. It's got amazing adhesion. Adhe adhe adhesion. Adhesion. That is got, you sounding shorty there, like. Adhesion. <laughs> adhesion. And you want to make sure it's nice and thin. Now, if you're doing this on a natural nail, what you want to do is kind of work the product into the natural nail. Obviously, we're working on top of um, an extension today. So we already have product on. We don't need to work it in as much, but we do need to drag it nice and thin. And we're going to cool that for 30 seconds. I'm going to show you the colours. Oh, just look. I'm sorry, there's 10 colours in this collection. They all are beautiful. Um, I've chosen these colours because you'll notice, like, this is like the pastel version. And this is like the bright version. So they are perfect to ombre together. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with EB. And we're going to do two layers of this. So this is our first layer. And I'm going to go about halfway. Take your fade brush. And you're going to tickle this back. You'll need to just clean off that brush so you know you've not got that other colour on. And then... We're going to apply Janet. And we're going to tease that just so it hits where we've dragged off that colour. So we're about halfway again. And then we're going to use the fade brush. And we're going to tease those particles over each other. Now it's important to do this nice and thin so you get a nice ombre. I love it already. <laughs> Pop it in the lamp. So again, we're curing each layer. So I'm going halfway again. You make sure that brush, you clean that off. Just on a free wipe will do. And then we're going to tease back. And it's this overlapped section in the middle that's going to give you your ombre. And again, I've gone down halfway. And I'm going to take that fade brush and I'm just tapping and pulling towards me a little bit. And as I pull towards me, I bring those particles over and create that fade. I love it. I'm going to top coat that just because I don't want no fluff going on it. Right, so this colour is called Lisa Lisa. Can you explain why it's called Lisa Lisa? Because there's a Lisa and there's a Lisa. Mm, there's <laughs> and that's my Lisa's. sister and her and her partner. Oh, they both named Lisa. And they both, both named Lisa. Yeah. Is um Vera. Oh, Vera Potter. Who's Vera, Vera, Vera Potter? Potter? Who's Vera Potter? That's that's Haley's grand. Oh Vera Potter. Oh, she's Who, the first time I met her. Yeah. She said, Oh, haven't you got come to bed eyes? Get lost! <laughs> Did she really? <laughs> she oh so top coat. Let the brush just skip round those edges as well so you seal the end. So for this one, I want to do a full colour. So I'm gonna go and use this one, Evie. Just because I really like it.
Oh my, oh my God. Whoa, so sparkly. Oh, look at that. They are super sparkly, even without the flash on. But then with the flash on, that's where it looks like the flash on. Oh my God, look at the sparkle. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And so easy to ombre, absolutely gorgeous. I know that you probably want some stones on, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just oil them ones and put some stones on your, on your full color, color one. Your full color. Your full color one. Just need to buff that a little bit, just so I know everything's going to stick. So I'm taking off the shine, just so I know that the product that I'm going to use, which is the Crystal Totalis, is going to stick. Still got a sparkle. It has still got a slacky it's like textured sparkle. It looks textured, but it's mm. not. It's not textured. Look, as you can see, all the particles. Those ones that are really highlighted, mm. that are really kind of like white, but they, they are silver. They are the super reflective ones. I want to kind of match the shape of the nail with the stones. So I want to follow the shape of the nail. Make it look more aesthetically pleasing to one's eye, darling. And I'm going to put the little crystals. These are the Moonflower crystals. Apart from the centre one, it was from the nail boxes. But these little ones are the moon flare and the little ones will go around the edge and what that'll do is it'll actually create like a border of protection it's like their little armor i'm gonna go slightly bigger with that one just to fill that space a little bit better and i'm using the pammy picker up here to pick the stones up and then I can use the design needle at the end of the pony picker up to just like rearrange any of those to get them exactly where I want them. Once you're happy with that you can get your flash lamp. Flash cure that. Give it about 10 seconds and then this is like how to get these stones stay on. The top coat is key so we're going to just kiss those stones with the brush with the top coat on and that will help smooth the edge so there's no light sharp edges to catch so Andrea's not going to catch them in her hair or anything like that and we've just revived that glitter now it's just all sparkly again Pop me that in the lamp. So you only need to flash cure the gem gel because it's going in the lamp anyway in the lamp it's going to get cured again so it's going to have a full cure bring me that out we can put some oil on that one now pretty nails ready to kit people's ass because you are doing kit box not kit boxing sorry karate karate darling so easy to ombre though like far if you struggle with ombres with solid colors use the tr crushed diamond flash gels It'll solve all your problems. Maybe not all your problems. In the world, <laughs> but, you know, all your ombre problems. <laughs> so there you are, guys. Hope you've enjoyed having a little sneak peek into the collection of our crushed diamonds. Um, everything I've used today will be listed below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that shebang. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ta-da!